Greetings. Please get out your King James Bible and turn to the book of Amos, Minor Prophets, chapter 5. We're going to start verse 1. This is uh, Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is the continuation of the Day of the Lord series. I've got the book of Amos and then the book of Obadiah, and we're done with the Day of the Lord. And then we're going to take a look at the New Testament, the Day of Christ. So let's get started. Amos chapter 5, verse 1. Hear ye this word which I take up against you, even a lamentation, O house of Israel. The virgin of Israel is fallen. She shall no more rise. She is forsaken upon her land. There is none to raise her up. For thus saith the Lord God, The city that went out by a thousand shall leave an hundred. You know, that's a 90% population reduction. And that which went forth by a hundred shall leave ten to the house of Israel. For thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. But seek not Bethel. The word Beth means house, and El is a uh, contraction for like God. So that basically Bethel means house of God. But seek not Bethel, nor enter into Gilgal, and pass not to Beer, uh, uh, Budweiser Sheba. Oh, I'm sorry, Beersheba. And pass not to Beersheba, for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to naught. That means nothing. Seek the Lord, and ye shall live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph and devour it, and there be none to quench it in Bethel. Ye who turn judgment to wormwood and leave off righteousness in the earth. Wormwood was a poison. Basically, if, if wormwood got into your water, I mean, it was basically poisoned. So basically what the Lord's saying is you turned, the judges turned judgment, righteous judgment into poison. Ye who turn judgment to wormwood and leave off righteousness in the earth. Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion, and, turn, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the day dark with night, that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. That strengtheneth the spoiled against the strong, so that the spoiled shall come against the fortress. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. So, in other words, they hate those that are good, and those that tell the wicked, oh, you're doing wrong, they hate them. I mean, let's face it. If you don't believe me, uh, go down to San Francisco and tell them that sodomy is a, an abomination before the Lord. See what happens. Verse 11. For as much, therefore, as your treading is upon the poor, and ye take from him burdens of wheat, ye have built houses of hewn stone, but ye shall not dwell in them. Ye have planted pleasant vineyards, but ye shall not drink wine of them. Why? Because the Assyrians are going to come and take all you people away. And, and, and the ones that they don't take away, the Babylonians are going to come and take you away. Captivity. So some of the people are going to be killed with the sword. Others are going to be taken into slavery. Verse 12. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins, mighty sins. They afflict the just. They take a bribe. You know how bad it is when a judge takes a bribe from a rich pe person to steal from a poor person what little they have? Oh, yeah. Why should a rich person 
drink a $100 bottle of wine when he can steal from the poor and drink a $1,000 bottle of wine. The rich never have enough. And they'll bribe a judge to steal from somebody that's poor. It's absolutely disgusting. And I tell you what, the Lord's going to have no pity on those people on the day of the Lord. Zero. They afflict the just. They take a bribe and they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. I guess I'm not very prudent. But there's coming a time I'm going to shut my mouth and do exactly what this is saying. Therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. You know, there there comes a time when you uh, expose the wicked and, uh, well, let's just do this. There are people that... Uh, allegedly have dirt on the Clintons and they don't live very long. People associated with the Clintons, from what I understand, the death count is over 100. People will tell, oh, that's fake news. No, it's not. No, it's not fake news. No, it's not. There's an interesting site called Arkansas. And uh, guy lists all the names and their connections. It's interesting. Therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. You speak up against the wicked, you die a lot of times. So if you're prudent, good idea to keep silent. Verse 14, seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the and so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts, hosts it may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Therefore the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord saith thus, Wailing shall be in all the streets, and they shall say in all the highways, Alas, alas, and they shall call the husbandmen to mourning, and such as are skillful of lamentation to wailing. And in all vineyards shall be wailing, for I will pass through thee, saith the Lord. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Now, I believe this is talking about the Lord's talking to the, the unbelievers, the wicked, the evil people. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion... And a bear met him. So a man ran away from a lion, escaped, and then he found, you know, he got killed by a bear. Or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it? He says, I hate, I despise your feast days. Your feast days. You notice he didn't say, I, I despise my feast days. No. You know, Passover, the Day of Atonement, uh, Feast of Trumpets, those are God's feast days. Well, not the Day of Atonement, but uh, those are God's holy feast days. But he says, I hate, I despise your feast days. 
and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Do you know, it's, uh, let's see, I believe it's in the book of Ezekiel. It said that they were, they were uh, burning incense and making cakes for the queen of heaven. Where's the queen of heaven in the Bible? Uh, she's not. The goddess. Her name is Isis and Ishtar. Another name of her is Easter. Yes, Easter. That's why you got bunny rabbits and, and eggs. Fertility. See, they were in the Lord's house, his temple, and they were celebrating Easter, at the rising of the sun. Matter of fact, let's take a look at that. Uh, here you go. Jeremiah 7 and verse 18. The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes, to make cakes to the queen of heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, gods, plural, that they may provoke me to anger. Uh, let's see, let's go to Ezekiel chapter 8. I was partly right. Uh, let's see. All right, let's go, okay, Ezekiel 8, verse 14 and 15. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north, and behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Uh, Tammuz is tied in with uh, Easter. I don't remember exactly how. But it's, it's the unholy trinity. The father and mother had a son, and then the father dies, and then the mother marries the son. And I think Tammuz is the son that married his mother. I don't remember. And she said, that's my husband reincarnated or raised from the dead or some garbage. But um, so the women were weeping for Tammuz because, I don't know. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. Verse 16, And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, and they worshipped the sun toward the east. You ever wonder why they have sunrise services on Easter? Think about it. And Tammuz is tied in with Easter. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence, filled the land with violence, and have returned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose. I have no idea what that means. Therefore will I also deal in fury. Mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in mine ears with a loud voice, yet I will not hear them. Okay, back to Amos chapter 5 and verse 21. See, they were having feast days for Tammuz and Easter and all that other stuff. So he says, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. See, they were having a table for the Lord, and then they had a table for the devils. And the Lord's not going to accept that. Uh, 
uh, take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. But let judgment, he wants righteous judgment, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. Have ye offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch. And Moloch was the heathen satanic god that demanded child sacrifice. They actually burned their children alive. And I'm going to prove that in a minute. But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chiun your images, the star of your god, the star, star, S-T-A-R, the star of your god, which ye made to yourselves. Therefore will I cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, that's Syria, saith the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. In Acts 7.43, one of the apostles speaking to the Jews said, Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch, and the star, star of your God, Rimpham, uh, Rimpham, in some places, is translated as giants. You know, think about Genesis 6. Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your God, Rempham, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. In Deuteronomy 18.10, we read, there shall not be found among you anyone that causeth, uh, that maketh, I'm sorry, anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. That means burning them alive. Or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. So what's this passing through the fire stuff? Well, let's take a look. And let's see, you can find this in 2 Kings chapter 23. And verse 8. I believe this is talking about King Josiah. And he brought out all the priests out of the cities of Judah and defiled the high places where the high priests had burned incense from Geba to Beersheba. So evidently, uh, Beersheba was a place of false worship. And break down the high places of the gates that were in the entering in of the gate of Joshua, the governor of the city, which were on a man's left hand at the gate of the city. Nevertheless, the priests of the high places came not up to the altar of the Lord in Jerusalem, but they did eat of the unleavened bread among their brethren. And he defiled Topheth, which is in the valley of the children of Hinnom, that no man might make his son or his daughter to pass through the fire to Molech. So Molech was a heathen satanic god that uh, basically they were taking their sons and their daughters and burning them alive. Uh, human sacrifice. You know, this is Satan worship, people. This is, you know. And he took away the horses that the kings of Judah had given to the sun at the entering in of the house of the Lord by the chamber of Nathan Millick, the chamberlain, which was in the suburbs, and burned the chariots of the sun with fire. Uh, that was 2 Kings 23, verses 8 through 11. So... The valley of the children of Hinnom uh, is where they took their sons and daughters and passed them through the fire to Molech. And you better believe the Lord was not pleased with um, Israel and Judah worshiping Molech. I mean, what kind of a God would have you burn your children alive? Oh, wait. Abortion clinics, right? That God. Yeah. Yeah. So, when you think about the uh, 
Amos 5, 26, But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch, and Chayun your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. Think about that star on the Israeli flag. And we just read in the book of Acts, basically the same thing. I mean, he was quoting from Amos. What star did the Jews carry? Think about it. The star of Moloch. They can call it the star of David all they want, but it's the star of Moloch. The tabernacle of Moloch. Oh yeah, people, day of the Lord. And, and, and you ever wonder why they didn't want Jesus? Well, there you go. So, all right, well, I hope you found this uh, interesting. Uh, all blessings, praise, and glory and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. That's Jesus, who is the Christ. In his precious name, amen.